government took delivery recently of 50 robust high occupancy and car A8 buses. We've ordered an additional 135 vehicles, including Nissan hardbody pickups, Toyota Land Cruisers, Toyota Land Cruiser Prados, Toyota Land Cruiser pickups and dispatch motorbikes to improve the transportation facilities of the troops. Officers, men and women, a few minutes ago, before the commencement of this Durban, I fulfilled a pledge I made in the October 28 graduation ceremony of officer cadets of the Ghana Armed Forces. I presented 50 Ankai buses and 50 Toyota Hilux pickups and 40 Toyota Land Cruiser hard body vehicles, which form part of the first tranche of 138 staff and operational vehicles of various categories to the armed forces. I also commissioned the newly constructed Command Officers Mess, a project started by the previous administration and completed and fully furnished under the current leadership of the Ministry and Military High Command. In all of these, my government has stayed true to its commitment to the Ghana Armed Forces. One of my first acts as President was to increase the United Nations peacekeeping troops contribution allowances from 30 United States dollars to 35 United States dollars per soldier per day. We also cleared the outstanding arrears of 13 million United States dollars for all peacekeeping personnel and ensured that the contingents in the Gambia were paid all their allowances in full. We also settled the 11.1% of arrears due to the civilian employees with effect from January 2018, and have ensured a 10% upward salary review for all personnel. The completion of the third phase of the 37 military hospital is receiving due attention. And we're also focused on completing and commissioning the 50 bed military hospital in the Ashanti region and beginning the third phase of this project soon. Government is addressing and tackling systematically the infrastructural needs and concerns of the officers, men and women of the armed forces. At the moment, work is ongoing on the barracks regeneration projects. The four blocks of 16 flats each, for which I cut the saw during my last visit here, are between 60 to 75 percent complete. As I indicated yesterday, in my message to Parliament on the State of the Nation, we will provide the Army with 30 Otoka armored personnel carriers and six fast patrol boats for the Navy. With respect to the Air Force, two of the MI M117 helicopters have been sent for overhauling. One has returned and the other will be in the jurisdiction shortly. Funds have been released to extend the flying hours for the third helicopter. Similarly, when we took office, 
all three of the CASA C295 transport aircrafts had broken down. We have fixed one of them, and the remaining two have been sent out of the country for overhauling. One is due back in the country in April, and the other in October. It is in everybody's interest that the armed forces retain the neutrality and professionalism guaranteed under the Constitution. Governments have term limits, and in a multi-party democracy, parties win and lose power. It is good for the health of the nation that this is so. And this is why the armed forces should not tie its well-being or otherwise to the fortunes of the ruling party of the day. As president, and together with you, officers, men and women, we must ensure that the Ghana Armed Forces is left to focus on its core mandate and not be an appendage of the ruling party. I envisage an armed forces that goes about its duty of protecting ordinary citizens, confident that will be no interference from the powers that be. May God continue to bless the Ghana Armed Forces and us all. And may God bless our homeland Ghana and make her great and strong.